Hello everyone, and welcome back to A Plague Tale Innocence, Chapter 16, Coronation. So last time, Hugo actually attacked the Chateau d'Ombrage, and he kind of just wrecked our whole home. So now we are going to go and find Beatrice here in this city, and hopefully start looking for a new home after that. So let's go ahead and we're going to jump straight into it. Millie has declared vengeance against Vitalis and her entire army and has sprinted on ahead, you know, as Millie does, not thinking about the consequences or anything like that. Um, so we're going to go and do our best to keep her alive. No promises though, Millie, uh, she's not the smartest and we've kind of determined that we're not the biggest fan of her because she's very uh, cocky and... It's annoying. Any resources back here? No, nothing. Okay. Alright, let's go after her and Lucas. In the last episode, Arthur, her brother, actually uh, got slain by Nicholas, Vitalis's dog. Wow, can we slow... Lee, run even Those more, please. Rats blocked the safest entrance. They didn't mean to do it, Millie. They. We don't have a choice. We have to try the great door. But watch out. I, I want that uh, episode. Is she angry with me? <laughs> no. She's just angry, full stop. But. Give her a little time, Hugo. How are we looking for upgrades? We need one more leather for this. And we need a whole bunch of junk for this. Okay. We need four Episanguis and three cord. Alright, we've almost gotten all of the upgrades, which is pretty cool. I wonder if since we have... Um, Melly and Godric with us. Maybe we'll be able to use all of their skills. Because Godric, he could uh, knock out people and Melly could lockpick stuff. You think it's already started? I hope so. Because there's more and more of them around here. Tweet. It's risky. Dallas knows what he's doing. The best roof is in the back door. That's what he says. Chances are it's locked. They're going. Faith. In the meantime, we have a job to do. Gonna get themselves caught. Be careful. Oh shit. They'll be seen. Hey! Stop! I'm going to help him. Stay here. I hope they make it. She knows the town. She'll lead them a dance. Come on, we have to take advantage. Oh yeah, I can't have finished. Roderick take him out. <laughs> Good job. He won't be getting up anytime soon, trust me. I'm sure you just absolutely pounded him into the ground. Alright, I'm assuming this door is locked behind them. I can't even interact with it, so that's going to be a solid yes. When did they close this gate behind us? <laughs> Interesting, none of us heard that actually happening. They just happened to close it. It's changed a lot since last time. The bells, the cathedral, Amicia. That's where Vitalis is. Which means Mother is too. That bastard's gonna get a surprise. First, we have to find the others. The cart. You don't need to tell me twice. Nice. I might have got a little carried away. All right. What all do we have in here? Resource sharing. Enter into the five alchemist cards. Oh, okay. 
Um, is this really all there is in this one? There's like normally a lot more. This one was a little empty, not gonna lie. Rocks are cool, I guess. Nothing else? Huh. Okay. Oh, he had something on him. Some saltpeter. Alright. More saltpeter. Episanguis here. Hey, what's that shaking? It's the rats. They're here, beneath us. So they're the ones who destroyed everything. Look at the ground. When you hold control to target with rats, red fumaroles indicate hordes trapped beneath the ground. Put out the sources of light to free them. Okay, so if I... They won't come out as long as they're slow. And then I can tell them to go and get wow. these guys? Sure. Yes, they're listening to me. Wow. Well, your power's been upgraded, Hugo, and it's very handy now because the rats won't attack us, it sounds like. I wouldn't touch that if I were you. Why? The flagellants whip themselves with it. It's probably got bits of flesh in it. Oh, I see. Ugh. So flagellants were a group who believed that the Black Plague or the Black Death was a punishment sent by God, and they believed that by whipping themselves, um, they would show their devotion to God and hopefully end the plague. Um, all it actually did manage to do was spread the plague even further and further, because a bunch of people walking around with bloody backs Believe it or not, very good vector for spreading disease. Um, faced with an increasing number of orders and cults, the church, the church, the church implores the Inquisition to strike down heresy to its core by driving out Dulcinians, Fraticelli, and Flagellants. The latter are convinced that humanity deserves di divine sentencing and repent by inflicting discipline on themselves in public, lacerating their own flesh with great whips while marching through the streets. Ironically, the flagellants help spread the plague from village to village. Yeah, so that's what I'm talking about. Um, walking around with bloody backs everywhere, believe it or not, it uh, gets people even more sick. So you said I can walk through this now? Oh yeah, they just leave us alone. Oh wow, they um... They are tearing these guys down. They ate their armor. Some hungry rats, that is for sure. Okay. Um right or left. Watch out, guards. Hasn't Vitalis sent anyone out to search for him? That's for you. Captain was always his product. Huh? What's that? Over there! I need some help here! This is so much! <laughs> <laughs> quite fun to watch them run. Oh gosh, let's be careful of this archer here. Okay, we took out the archer.
Okay. Kill this guy. Oh, he has a, a fire mace. Um. Okay. Uh. What am I supposed to do here? <laughs> Run away! Do a tactical retreat in the opposite direction. Until he hopefully loses us. Because otherwise we are about to die here. Hopefully he loses interest here. Okay, he's losing interest. Alright, I can't remember. I think Roderick can... He can knock out the heavy guards, right? If he hits him in the back. Or am I misremembering? Oh. God. Bastards. Yep, nothing to see here. Definitely not somebody standing in the middle of the street. Okay. I am wondering, can I hit that? Oops, hitting the wrong button. My bad. Oh, that's not good. Oh, and he relit it. Okay, there we go. Man, oh wow, they they stripped him down to the bone real fast. Okay, how are we looking for upgrades? We can get the Adderail now, or we can save up two cord and get that. I am tempted to just get this to see what else we have left for the containers. So let's go ahead... Oh, that cuts out the... I got handful of pockets. Fully upgrade the equipment. Very nice. Um, okay, so I need two leather, two cord, and two saltpeter. Well, I think I've left some saltpeter around here and there. There's some right there. Perfect. So all that is left is two leather and two cord. And then we have all of the upgrades. Hopefully... Um, we can actually find two leather and two cord because those are kind of rarer ingredients. There's a cord. Okay, just one cord left. Um... There's the two salt, Peter, we needed. We don't actually really need the Episanguis outside of... Well, Odorous doesn't really have a purpose anymore, so... We really just need cord and leather. Everything else is just a bonus for making stuff. Um, we can also release more rats. They can come out of these holes, but, meh. It's like, I don't know what that'll do for us. I think we killed all the guards in the area. You would think, for knowing that rats hate light, you would expect them to light this place up a lot more, rather than just interspersed um, torches here and there, but... I mean, yeah, why would you do that when you can have, like, one or two torches covering everything? Doesn't seem like the, the wisest plan to me, but I'm not in charge here, so. All right, I think that is everything.
At least everything that I can find at the moment. No, just hold on a moment. Um, making sure that there's nothing around here. There's a flower over there. I don't know how you actually get to that, though. Oop, some extra rocks here. Okay, sure. Go you for it, it Roderick? Roderick. Yeah. Dang, bro. Okay. Um, let's see. So rats will come forth if we do that. Took out those two, and then let's just bonk this archer real fast. All right, that's all of the cord we need, I believe. So we just need two leather. Ah, Arthur and Millie made it. There's one leather. Listen, Vitalis is at the cathedral. That's all very well, but the whole battalion is coming our way. You need to get out of here. Th take the stairs. The house is <laughs> the new star. Um, the one that's on fire. We can't go back. Go. We'll meet you on the other side. Be careful. Come on. The house. Let's just preemptively put out some fires. Um... We found one leather, that's good. So literally I think that should just be one leather left and then we've gotten every single upgrade, very nice. All right. I don't need a pot. <laughs> Having all the rats kind of makes it easy mode. It's just put out the fires and then you are all set. And the fact that the rats, you know, now worship Hugo or whatever, very, very easy to, um, fight. As compared to before, uh, it was hit or miss. I died a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Okay, these rats are everyone. There's my last leather. I managed it. That is all of the upgrades. <sighs> Not bad. From, uh, Not bad this point forward... Upgrades don't matter, it is literally just collect resources to make stuff. Very good. Ah, locked. I'll break it down. Ah, you swine! You see? Some guards are coming. Roderick, take cover. We'll handle them, Hugo. Have fun. Wow, um, okay, those rats, uh, completely didn't defend us. I, <laughs> I didn't do anything because I thought that he, 
he was gonna get got by the rats. I didn't realize there was a clear path directly to us. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Let's craft some more extinguish. I'm actually low on salt, Peter. Okay, let's put out this fire just so as to defend ourselves. And you get started up on this, Godric. Or Roderick. I'll break it down. Godric. <laughs> I uh I played um, Elden Ring recently, and Godric is one of the bosses in that. Have fun. Okay, there we go. That guy's taken out. We'll take out this guy. Now that I think about it, I still could have defended myself like this. I don't know why I didn't, but... Oh, come on. Okay, and then let's have the rats get this guy real quick. Maybe. Come over here, bud. Okay, there we go. Yes, I think so. It's all right, Roderick. Remind me never to make you too angry, all right? Right. This time, it's going to work. The guard just completely ignored him. He was heavy set on getting us. Any, uh... Any items that these guys dropped? Not that we super need them anymore, but might as well get them. They also opened up a door. Ah, there's that flower. Alicia, look. It survived all this? Yes. It's a warrior. It defends itself. It's like us then. That's right. It's your flower. Thank you, Hugo. Let's go. Alright. A Christmas rose. Used since antiquity to treat dementia and some forms of paralysis, the plant quickly became a symbol of anxiety and disquiet. This is likely due to its toxicity, as handling it with one's bare hands causes violent irritations and even more severe reactions if ingested. Strangely enough, it is found in nativity scenes around Christmas. It was supposedly born from the tears of Madelon, a young shepherdess who was desperate to offer a gift to the newborn Christ. Um, Hugo, we need to go and wash your hands. <laughs> Apparently you're not supposed to handle this with your bare hands. And what did you just do? You went and grabbed that with your bare hands. Did it save that I got the final upgrade? Okay, yeah. Everything is upgraded. Grab some rocks before we head out. And I think we should be set to go. Shit! It's some plan! Mommy, Sue! Can't! We'll be burned alive! Nothing will happen to you, I promise! Roderick, are you with us? To hell and back. Break that down, Lucas. Alright, 
Perfect. That's one less. I thought he'd be tougher to take down. Watch out. We are not sick. Look at us. We only wanted to get our belongings back. Amicia, what do we do now? Hang on, I'm thinking. I'm wondering, can Roderick... Oh, okay, well, they turned around, so... Let's just bonk a bunch of people. Alright, there we go. Three dead guards. Thank you! Thank you! Lord bless you! Yes, thank you! And good luck! Hey, wait! Ah! Take cover! Archers! Well done, men! Keep your eyes open! No one must approach the cathedral. The cathedral? We're on the right track. Dad, the poor guys. It's the only way to the cathedral. Oh. We must find a way to cross. Well, clearly we're going to push this. I'm just looking around real fast. Because even though we don't need the resources, I don't know, maybe we'll need to make a Somnum or something, you know? Albeit we can afford it. I don't know, it doesn't hurt to take the time to look around. The chain. You. You shouldn't. Why? This place. I know it all too well. What is it, Roderick? I mean, resources, Roderick. Where was that? Right here? I think it was this. Yeah. This alleyway. See, Episanguis. No. I knew it. Roderick, what's going on? Where are you going? Let's go. It can't be. Roderick. There's nothing left. Did they burn your house down? It was my father's forge. Where I grew up. It's where... I know how you feel. But you're still alive, and your roots, they can never take that away from you. You're right. I know who I am. Come on. We have to save your mother. You'll see. Mummy's lovely. We'll go together. And we'll find another castle. Fine by me. Find Roderick's Forge. Huh. Okay. Sorry about your home, but... I mean, we had the chateau for a while, and then that got destroyed. You know, you have a bad habit of getting your homes destroyed. It's definitely your fault, and not the people that burned it down. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and... Roderick! If we push it to the port, Callis, it will give us cover. Hugo will be protected behind it. Hey! Leave it, Amicia. What are you doing? Stay back with your brother. I'm pushing. Roderick, let me help. I'll be fine. If you want to help, keep an eye out for guards. All right. Okay. All right, let's do this. Hi, Roderick! Don't worry about me, Can I actually kid. hit them? No, they're too far. All right, I'll just... Stand and wait then. Do I have to defend us? Soldiers. Soldiers ahead. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, apparently I was standing too far forward. Amicia died. Yeah, you don't say. Okay, um, did it save anything I just did? It this does not look like it did. There's a chain on the other side. Do you know this place? We should be able to open it. Um, okay. Let's just real quick loot again. I don't think there was anything super valuable that comes to mind. Maybe just the Episanguis. The chain. You. You shouldn't. Why? This place. I know it all too well. What is it, Roderick? Uh, no. I knew it. Roderick, what's going on? 
Where are you going? Let's go. I wonder if I leave, does he just He still sat down. The cart, Roderick. If we push it to the port Callis, it will give us cover. Hugo will be protected behind it. Hey. What are you doing? Dude's having Roderick, a breakdown. Let me help. All right. All right, let's do this. Hi, Roderick. Don't worry about me, kid. <laughs> okay, I don't think that's the way you're supposed to do that. Okay, let's stay better hidden behind the cart this time. And we know they said, uh, some guards are going to be coming from over there. You doing good, Roderick? That seems kind of heavy. Soldiers ahead! Amicia! They're all yours! Oh Leave God! Please, no. We needed to reach the port. Amicia, they're behind us. Bastards! You bastards! I've reached the stairs. Go quick! Oh crap. I panicked and I didn't fully aim down and now I'm ruining the power of this moment. Roderick, don't die. Oh my god, why does it checkpoint before I collect the stuff each time? You know what, I don't I don't need the Episanguis. We are fine. Let's just get to it. The cart, Roderick! If we push it to the port, Callis, it will give us cover. Hugo will be protected behind it. Hey! Leave it, Amicia. What are you doing? Stay back with your brother. I'm pushing. Roderick, let me help. I'll be fine. If you want to help, keep an eye out for guards. All right. All right, let's do this. Hi, Roderick! Don't worry about me, kid. I mean, how do they know it's immediately intruders? It could just be their own men pushing the cart. Unless they saw his legs or something. Because it certainly uh, isn't me they're seeing. I'm like hidden behind the cart. Start coming from behind. Amicia, behind us. Bastards! You bastards! I've reached the stairs. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we we here. Come on. Oh gosh. Come on, quick. Oh my god. How many times did they hit you? Better. I'm right behind you. All right. Hugo, go! 
Your turn. Roderick. Poor Hugo, I mean, having to see his friend die like that? Roderick and Arthur sacrifice themselves. Just leave me alone! She's right, Millie. Roderick. He's gone, Hugo. He's resting now. I can't take any more of these bloody rats! Bastards! But they're going to get us too. Really? How? Like this. How do you... Hugo? Tell me you're going to help us kill those bastards. Meli, we've got no chance without your brother, Amicia. You get that, right? I will help you, and you're going to help us save Mummy. You've got yourself a deal. Alright, let's take out his helmet. Let's see if we can lure him directly into the rats. I don't know if this will actually work, but it's worth a shot. Hey, come here, buddy. Sir. Hello. Finally. Come here. Man, they stripped him down fast. They actually more than stripped him the bone, they ate some of the bones. Wow. These rats must have been especially hungry. Are they really expecting people by this point to not have the have a workshop anywhere upgrade? That was one of the first ones I got. It's been very handy. Helps me uh, helped me get maxed out tools because from there I could uh, just upgrade stuff if I was capping out on resources and didn't have anywhere else to put Brothers. stuff. Okay, I need to have some extinguish prepped. I didn't realize I didn't it's have a any. Mess. Get ready. Okay, the two archers are out. Okay, 
take out this guy's I moved. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh, come on. That didn't hit his torch? Are you kidding me? There we go. The aiming in this game, sometimes not the greatest. Okay. Let's have a quick look around for any resources. Music's building up. I think we're about to have, like, a, a final encounter. That's what it sounds like. I mean, obviously, Vitalis is probably the final boss, I guess. I don't know, we'll probably just throw a bunch of guys at us, we'll kill him, and then he'll die or something. Okay, alcohol, we don't need We're that. Here. What's this? We say he's going to do something very bad. I can feel it. Bad? Like what? Excuse me, but whatever he's up to, we're here to kill him, right? He's about to start. Let's go, Hugo. Mummy's in there. Quick pause. Inquisitor's Manual. Bernard Guadi Guadoni, Inquisitor of Languedoc, wrote a manual for his peers at the beginning of the 14th century thought of as an aid to their work. Acting as legal code, it lists the heresies to be condemned, the corresponding penalties, and the procedures to be followed. For the sake of ethics, it favors the common good rather than that of individuals and advocates cruel sentences in order to make examples that instill a sense of terror among the people. Yeah, I mean, it's one way to do stuff, I guess. Should have grabbed those rocks. Lucas, Melly, stay where you are. So I hear some children are asking for punishment. You'll die if you come down. That doesn't matter. Amicia, there are rats down there. So tell them to come out. Go on. Very well. Oh, I just realized I should take out the archers, huh? Because they are getting very close to actually hitting me. Okay. We are gonna let them get a bit closer. And then we will do exactly that. Easy. Right, let's go inside. Oh, we're heading straight on in. Okay. Time for the final confrontation against Vitalis. Some family. No one else must get in. This will get you nowhere! You don't want to understand, Beatrice. Mommy! My child. Hugo! Amicia! Mother! Your child. Did Vitalis do this? He oh my gosh. Them. He's past the threshold. Go get out of here. Oh, for pity's sake. At this Hugo, point, the uh are you ready? the Inquisition, they're just yes. a bunch of fanatics. They're willing to allow themselves to then be eaten go. by rats Stick for Vitalis's me. sake. We're coming to Let her go, Vitalis! 
This is your last chance! Hugo, your power! You have to be careful! I'm fine, don't worry! He is a very gifted student. Too bad he's forgotten who taught him everything he knows. Shut up, you old fool! We're here to kill you, not listen to your speeches! And yet, look at you, walking towards me like lost sheep to their shepherd. That's enough, Vitalis! You're alone! Give us back your mother, or... Oh, what exactly? I still have things to teach the carrier and his friends. <laughs> You're so touching. Thank you. Thank you for your candor. You hear them? The angel. The angel of the new world. Get back! The light. See? I saw it. Come on. Lucas, Melly, stay there. No, I can help you. I can. It's our blood, Melly. All right. Destroy him. So these are the rats that they were um, feeding. Uh, they were feeding these rats human blood, right? They were like drip feeding it when we were playing as Hugo. I can do it. Really? Come on, Hugo. It's our only chance. Concentrate enough rats in the same area to form a cluster, then send them at the masses of white rats to destroy them. Oh gosh. Um. Does this still work on them? I don't believe it. Oh wait, it literally just explained how to do this. Okay, that was close. Yes, well done, Hugo. We'll show him. Watch, Beatrice. Witness the end of what remains of your lineage. Leave them alone. The children. They are merely relics of the old world. Okay, let's try and take uh, this out real fast. So apparently the normal rats, they appear stronger, or maybe it's just that there's less of the um, white rats, but as we put out the fires, the black rats, uh, they, they push through them very quickly. Okay, extinguish on that. I keep forgetting where each um, tool actually is. Send these straight for Vitalis. Mommy! Hugo! Alicia, he must not abuse his power! We're going to get you out of there! What happened up there? We'll take care of oh, Millie. Hugo, you feel it too, don't you? But it scares you. The true power! The gift of self! I am unity! I am the blood of blood that connects all people! Um. Get back! Stay with Hugo! Die! Become one oh, again! I no longer... Oh my gosh. What the heck? Okay, I don't know what that was all about. I was just trying to grab these resources real fast. I guess I gotta dodge the attack. Become one again. And my servants shall rise toward the firmament. 
return, my followers. I'm a little trapped. Return to your master. Your turn, you go hit him. Ah! Oh, okay. So it's just dodge Vitalis's rats until we can get off the hit. And then I can smack him in the face. So it's what's going on there? Okay, so I have to both keep the rats away from the middle. Become one Get again. And strike I'm not just standing here, Hugo, it's okay. Because otherwise they will collide with each other. So it's best to. His rats are faster. So we just gotta keep them away from the middle. No! It's impossible! You pay for this! Come to me! Come see! The beast blood! It's attitude! And beast! With you! So it's best to just lure his attacks as far over here as we can. Okay, and then hopefully it should work this time. They shouldn't collide into each other. There we go, perfect. All right, I gotta smack him. This is your last affront. I sacrificed my flesh to become the crucible where everything you burn. You cannot kill that which has been sublimated. Oh crap. I wasn't paying attention. I assumed he was going to do another underground attack. Ah. Little annoying it does restart you at the beginning every time. I mean, it's my fault that that has to happen in the first place, but... And my servant shall rise toward the firmament. I know you are hungry. Okay. Soon you shall eat. No. Fire two. Come he has no more rats to protect No. no it's impossible. You pay for this. Come to me. Okay, now he's going to do a smack me. attack and then two underground you. attacks. Two underground attacks. Another underground attack. And then we'll send in the rats. And those should be a lot faster than hits. Perfect. Alright, that's the second hit. Easy. Alright, he's gonna do a smack. 
underground a uh, smack. I don't know if he's gonna do anything else after that. You cannot kill that which has been sublimated. Underground. Oh, get out of there. Another smack. Another underground. Is that everything? Okay, let's see if his rats, they should be faster than Vitalis's, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. One final bonk on the head. Maybe? I think that's it. Oh, okay, we got credits. I I had sworn that there was another chapter after this. I thought that's what I had read, but maybe I was mistaken. Unless we have a, uh, like a Marvel situation where they're going to hit us with a bonus chapter after the credits. Yeah, but that was a Plague Tale Innocence. Um, a Plague Tale Requiem will be coming out October of 2022, so we will be checking that out on the channel as well once that finally arrives. All in all, fantastic game. It's several years old, but it really held up. Beautiful art design, beautiful soundtrack, fantastic story. Um, it did a really good job of making you actually fall like in love with these characters. You know, you wanted to keep Hugo safe. You wanted to keep Amicia safe. And then I got Amicia killed like 15 times per level. <laughs> but genuinely, it conveys a sense of actually caring about the characters that most games work towards, but not quite as well. Um, rest in peace, Roderick. Um, he didn't make it through to the end. That's unfortunate, but we will find a new home, hopefully, in his uh, honor. He's earned it. Guy went through a lot, lost his father, lost his home. But yeah, all in all, fantastic game. Um, credit where credit is due. Great job to all of the developers. Um, you all did a fantastic job. And I know this is beating a dead horse. This is a very old game, but... Great job overall, for sure. Chapter 17, for each other. Okay, so there is another chapter. I was like, I thought I had read there was 17. All right, let's go. Have we got everything? Yes, that's all Lucas asked for. Is Mummy going to get better with this? She will be all right, Hugo. Mummy is tough, isn't she? Just like you. That's right. I can't wait for us to find a new castle. Well, <laughs> you've got the taste of a king now. We'll see what we can do. We have to leave the region first. So, were you able to go home? Yes. The nest is still there, but it's empty. <sighs> I can't believe the rats are gone for good. Let's hope they are. You want to try your hand at shooting? Not me. My sister's really good. Right, Amicia? 
All right. Let's have a go. Good. Good. The rule is simple. You have six stones, six possible shots. Try and shoot as many targets as possible. Are you ready? And it's not time? Heck yeah. Three, four, five. There's the last one in the window. Six. Hey, you know how to do it. You want an apple, and all due respect. <laughs> yes, Amicia, well done. Hey, Hugo, the have an apple. For you, Hugo. You're my biggest supporter. Oh, thanks. I was hungry. As always. Hey, today we're celebrating the third day without rats. There's a little fair down the street. Go take a look. A fair? A real fair? I've never seen a fair before. Hugo, Lucas is waiting for us. We should be getting back. But it's a fair. Come on. Hugo. <laughs> All right. But we can't stay long. I mean, heck yeah. Let's go check out the fair. Hey, look. Oh, that's the young boy. Oh, no. No, no, boy. You just can't come in. But why? Because you can. That's why. Oh, come on, guys. Hey, is there a problem? Look, the problem is a kid and his sister are wanted around here by important people. I mean, well, we, we just don't want any trouble here, you understand? I can see very well. Hugo, we have to go. I'm sorry, Hugo. But the fair... Come Punks. On. Can we sneak into the fair? Sneaky, sneaky. Does this ladder go anywhere? No, we can't get to it. Hey, Hugo. What? The first one to arrive at the cart wins 20 apples. 20 apples? But you'll never beat me. Right, Slug? What? You see? Oh, yeah? Then on three. One, two, three. Hey! Oh, no. Hugo's winning. Oh, he's going to get I'm the right apples. <laughs> this is really cute. I actually all right, all right. don't think I could have won, won that. Yes! 20 apples! <laughs> I was trying to play, um, you know, oh no, you're running way faster than me, but Hugo genuinely was running way faster than me. We made it, Lucas. Do you have everything? The St. John's what? The Hawthorne? The all of it. Let's go. Good. Amicia? Yes? Why are they looking at me like that? Melly looked at me the same way. Then she left. Because she doesn't like me anymore. Hugo, she... She had other things to do. That's not true. But it doesn't matter. Run! Is she going to sleep much longer? She has to get her strength back. With the herbs you bought, she'll soon be back on her feet. All right. So Melly just abandoned us after we avenged her brother? Hey, Hugo. What? Do you think I'm pretty? <laughs> <You're> ugly. <laughs> really ugly. <laughs> ugly? Me? You look like a big fat fly. A fly? Your own sister? Oh, such a slur requires punishment. <laughs> Lucas! Hey! Help! The fly's attacking me! And with that, we have a happy send-off for A Plague Tale Innocence. Cue the epic music. Oh my gosh, that really kicked in all of a sudden. Why is boss music playing?
right, we're heading towards the coast. Now, there have been brief glimpses of a Plague Tale Requiem. I've been trying to keep myself in the blind on it. Um, but I do know that they're going to an island somewhere. I don't know specifically where they're going. I'm assuming it's somewhere in the Mediterranean because it looks sunny and nice there. But that could literally be anywhere in the world that they end up. Um, I, I just have been trying to keep myself as blind as possible because I want to go into it and experience the game um, with a pair of fresh eyes. But yeah, that was A Plague Tale Innocence. We made it all the way through. Uh, our death count was only at 1,001. <laughs> Goodness knows, we, we got bullied quite a lot in this game, but we held strong. We managed to push on through. Um, there was a bit of heartbreak in there. We lost Roderick. Melly could not care less that we lost her. Good riddance. Um, the fact that she would abandon us after we helped her out like that really goes to show uh, her character. Um, can't say that I'm going to miss her. But with that, we are prepped to jump into a Plague Tale Requiem. It'll be coming out in October, I believe it was like October 22nd or 23rd of 2022. That is close, very close. So we will definitely be checking that out on the channel once it arrives. Um, I'm looking forward to it, you know. We've got other series going on also, but this was kind of one of the big ones that we were starting out with. Um, I'm learning as we go along. I'm very new to YouTube, but having a lot of fun making these videos. Um, and I feel that's the most important part, is just having fun while we make it. Experiencing great stories and having fun while doing so makes this all the greater to actually be undergoing it all. And I get to listen to this fantastic soundtrack while I uh, close out the video. Ah, beautiful stuff. I, I want to say congrats to... Um, this development team for the uh, the musical choices they made, they really punctuated some very powerful moments. Like I believe it was chapter 13, um, when Amicia she bonked her head and was having the dream. Those pipe organs in the background, those really sold that moment to me. Um, it's a uh, important decision what music you actually decide to go with and going with such unorthodox instruments such as a pipe organ or um you know a lute or something like it's all stuff relevant to this time period but it's all very good strong music really helps sell the moment helps make a strong game even stronger and this was a very strong game i have very few complaints with this. Controls a little awkward at times. Um, checkpoints. I wish that they would just save your item collection. I had to run around a bunch of times and recollect stuff. Not a huge deal. Um, it just, you know, adds some extra time. But nothing that is game breaking, you know? It's just a bit of backtracking. And not necessarily a bad thing. You notice things the second time through that you wouldn't notice otherwise. Developed by Asobo Studio and published by Focus Home Interactive. Good job to you both. That was... That was a journey. And I look forward to what comes next. I got the chapter not Or, uh, the achievement Knights. Complete all chapters. Alright. Well, we managed to do it. We completed A Plague Tale Innocence. With that, we're going to wrap up the video here. Is that a human head or a pot? I can't tell. These rats, I think it's a pot because there's like a little chipped shard there. With that though, we're going to wrap up the video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.